Hi, my name is Corey Suzuki. This is a quick demo of an intersection simulation that I created with Python and Pygame. This sim is only the beginning of a bigger idea for a project called ClearPath. My goal with ClearPath is to make intersections safer whenever emergency vehicles pass through them. To accomplish this, ClearPath's traffic management system will automatically convert standard traffic lights into four-way blinking red light intersections whenever an emergency vehicle is approaching. For this project, I wanted to simulate a single intersection to compare the collision rates between a standard intersection and one that's been converted to a four-way stop. The Emergency Response Traffic System, aka ERTS, activates the four-way red. Whether or not ERTS is active, vehicles are randomly generated at the same frequency. Collisions are only calculated between emergency vehicles and civilian vehicles, and only if the crash occurs within the intersection. You can pause the simulation with P, Reset it with R. Toggle ERTS mode with E. Or begin a timed analysis with A. Here, you can adjust the duration of the test and toggle whether or not to export the results to a JSON file. The first phase of the analysis will count collisions when the traffic light is in standard red, yellow, green mode. Then, the intersection will be converted to a four-way stop for the second phase. At the end of the analysis, the results are displayed in the Pygame window, in the terminal, and optionally exported to a JSON file. The results will include the total number of civilian vehicles generated, the total number of emergency vehicles generated, and the total number of collisions that occurred. From these values, the program calculates weighted collision rates for both modes, and an extrapolated collision count for the four-way stop phase. The extrapolated collision count was a late addition to the analysis results. The first thing that I noticed while testing the analysis mode was a discrepancy in the amount of civilian vehicles generated in each phase. I set a limit whenever traffic is backed up to the edge of the grid in order to prevent vehicles from piling up in the same tile. So when the intersection is converted to a four-way stop, the number of cars generated per minute drops significantly. This is a clear downside of ClearPath, but I think it is a minor inconvenience when looking at the bigger picture of making intersections safer. This project is my submission for a course on Sophia.org called Introduction to Python Programming. Before this course, I'd already spent the better part of a year learning to code, so I wanted to reflect that with this project and avoid doing the bare minimum. I also wanted to learn something new while working on this, so I chose to learn the basics of Pygame. I used Pygame to create the visual representation of the simulation. Using Pygame for this project really helped to further my understanding of Python classes. Each element in the simulation, vehicles, traffic lights, and even the city grid itself, is represented by a class. This allowed me to keep all the relevant data and actions separate. For example, the vehicle class contains properties like position and speed, as well as methods for movement and collision detection. This practical application of classes helped me grasp how they could be used to model more abstract concepts. Pygame's event-driven architecture demonstrated how classes can interact with each other. The way different objects respond to events and update their state each frame reinforced my understanding of object, life cycles, and state management within classes. Overall, Pygame allowed me to see the direct results of my code in action, making the learning process more concrete for me. This project has not only laid the groundwork for ClearPath, but has also solidified my understanding of object-oriented programming in Python.